Hey guys, welcome back. So we got a pretty cool episode this week. We've been pretty busy the last two weeks, just with a lot of stuff. Uh, been doing a lot of work in Kentucky on the lease. Been doing a lot of work here on my uh, 50 acre property here in Pennsylvania that we just bought this winter. Uh, as you can see behind me, it's a lot. This all this light light colored green is switchgrass, and uh, the switchgrass is coming in. So we're super excited about that. And then I got a row of switchgrass that extends for almost uh, 200 yards up here. That's going to be a nice line and uh, create a nice screen for us. And you know, we just did a lot of work out here today, just kind of some last uh, last things on the food plots. And uh, we're hanging a couple permanent sets and we're also prepping some, some trees for our saddle hunts. Uh, changed out a few cards. I got about five or six buck I want to show you guys. Um, one of them, real big one, real wide, not going to score real high, but uh, beautiful mature Pennsylvania white tail, big frame. And uh, you know, they're, they're moving through the property and you know, I'm starting to see some, some consistent movement at, at, that, at that. And, uh, you know, if I could only just get these turkeys off my food plots right now, I think they're just pounding the seed. But uh, maybe they're not. Maybe they're, you know, getting whatever they can. But uh, definitely wanted to get back in here and do some work on the plots. Um, right now I'm, I'm going out to do an observation sit here this evening. It's Friday here in Pennsylvania. And it's a beautiful evening. So, uh we're going to see if we can catch some bucks on their feet coming out to the fields out here. We've got a hidden field up here, a big corn field. Um, I also have my bow with me. Uh, I'm taking a target, taking a bunch of arrows, and I'm going to, you know, take some practice shots out of the uh, out of the saddle in the new mission platform. So make sure uh, probably next week, maybe, you know, or the beginning of the following week, week that uh, the mission platform will be be uh, probably up on the website, ready to be ordered. So you'll, you'll, you'll be able to get that and... Uh, and the sticks you can already get through Novik, but you'll, all the sticks should be available through through our uh, through Trophy Lens website also. Um, tonight I'm going to be running the mission platform, and I'm going to be using uh, Matt Garris from Out on the Limb. I'm be using the uh, the Shakar sticks, so uh, another great stick. So there's just so many great options out there. It's a great time to be a saddle hunter, and uh, you know it's just a great time to be a hunter. Yeah, especially here in Pennsylvania, you know the the bucks are getting big, and, and we're enjoying it. So. Uh, Hey, sit back, enjoy this episode, and you know we're only a month away. Kentucky season starts, and then a month after that, we got Pennsylvania. So it's going to be here before we know it, guys. I uh, hope you're out there getting it done. Go ahead. Yep, picking up rocks. Throw it. Show them. Yeah, good girl. You're my little helper, huh? Who's my little helper? Who's my little helper? Hey, Ray Ray. Going to pick up rocks out of the food pot. Throw them in the woods. Good job, baby.
Say bye bye. So we just got finished up with our food plot that is right at my home residence, home property here in Rockton, Pennsylvania. And as you can see behind me, um, it looks pretty looks pretty smooth. Uh, we were able to mix in a brassica mix here in the middle section. That's about a quarter acre, a little bit, well, about three eighths of an acre. And then all the strips around the plot this whole plot in, in, entire, in its entirety is a little over an acre, uh, maybe an acre and a quarter. And I put strips around the whole back side of it and the front side of it. And we planted that in our G4 mix from Hag's Feed. And then the part on the inside is Little Whiskey Girl from, uh, or is Fall Frenzy from Little Whiskey Girl. And what we're gonna do with that Fall Frenzy, depending on how it comes in, We'll add some rye, some winter rye or some winter wheat um, here, probably second to third week of September uh, if we have some bare spots. But I, I went light on the seeding and that portion on Nebraska just to give it some room, just to really grow. Um, there's a ton of corn out here, so I haven't had a lot of deer in this plot. I only had a clover plot last year and I let the weeds grow up. So we haven't had a ton of deer. We kind of kept them out of here. So this year we're really going to bring it back and come rut time and come winter time this is going to be another hot spot for us because that corn's going to be harvested those deer are going to be looking for some food there's also corn big big egg up here through this hollow that's going to be harvested pretty early so this is a centralized location where we should have some big bucks cruising through here and uh you know the food's gonna gonna keep them here in the winter so um with that we have our plots done out of the out of the 50 acre property Whatever plots done here, I actually went out and didn't film at all, but I went out and finished the uh, the last plot out there. Uh, sorry, I do have one more that I did plant buckwheat, but I'm probably gonna let that buckwheat go until at least middle of August, um, and then I'll throw some more of this G4 mix in, and uh, we'll go from there. But as far as the planting's going, we're pretty much done. We're just praying for rain. It's in the forecast. Uh, it, we're like right on the edge of it, but you can see it's it's overcast right now. We had a few sprinkles, but I wanted to get this seed in the ground um, just to give it a chance. I got the fertilizer down too, so that's going to be it for uh, as far as the habitat stuff. And next it's on to, you know, hanging stands and checking trail cameras and finding deer and doing spotting and uh, just scouting and, you know, the, the preseason stuff that we always do. So appreciate everybody following. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, I'd greatly appreciate it if you uh, would hit that. We're close to 500 subscribers. Started out in December with, I think, 30. So since we brought bought the 50 acres and I started to kind of vlog it, uh, we definitely picked up on that. So I appreciate everybody uh, tuning in. I hope you're enjoying it. I know I'm a goofball once in a while, and uh, obviously I'm not an expert, but uh, I'm just like you guys, a DIYer, and uh, I love to hunt. And I like to think that I do it for the right reason. So uh, appreciate everybody. Here's 14 bags on this pot. That's uh, 700 pounds. <laughs> I actually got the truck back in here. The trailer I had to carry everything. Roll it over with our uh, 
with our roller. There's number two. And the other one we did. So this buckwheat wasn't didn't quite get as high. So those of you that have been following me and keeping up with all the, the different food plot videos and the uh, different strategies we've been using from uh, Jeff Sturgis at Whitetail Habitat to Solutions. So this plot here is one that we basically built from scratch this year. And you can see, I'm going to get real close, you can see this is all like real garbage mossy, um, just not soil even. But we're, we're, we're basically getting on trying to plant on this right now and I put bags and bags of lime you can see all that lime we put down and uh, you know the buckwheat has started to take off but it hasn't it it hasn't done real well and now we're starting to see a little bit of an influx of some of these weeds some of these are broad leaves um, and it's more of a vine so I think once we get a good kill on, um, I might even disc it this because this pH is not good. The pH is still at probably a five, five and a half. Um, so what I'm probably going to end up planting is just some rye. Um, I'll try the brassic just because I have a, I have a lot left over. So I'll probably put about oh, this is about a, I want to say this is this is about a quarter acre plot. So I'll end up putting about maybe two pounds on it um, and just seeing how it takes here. And if it doesn't really start taking by uh, the middle of August um, or the end of August, then we'll just hammer it with rye. So uh, at least we'll, we'll s start getting the soil better for next year too. So that's part of it too. We're just conditioning the soil and trying to make things work. But uh, I'm going to show you a couple other things as we walk through here. So as you can see in this food plot that we uh, built, we, we took the area just to the south of it and we built uh, some bedding areas. We built about a quarter acre bedding area in here and we got a lot of side coverage. You can see behind me, um, this was just, these were just shooting lanes for a tower that was in here when we first bought it. And now uh, we've created a bedding area out of it, which is butted up against the food plots and we're creating a little bit more what they call what Jeff calls depth of cover so I'm actually in the bedding area right now so probably bumped anything out but there I got some cell cameras running and I already had a bunch of dough on them so I'm assuming that they, they came from here so it's definitely grown up we got a lot of um, a lot of regrowth out of it and that like I said that side cover is a big deal so finally I wanted to bring you guys into the bedding area that we created with a clear cut. We took our top most, most eastern section of the property and we created a clear cut. Now, we started this back in December and as you can see the results, we have hinge cuts, we have uh, tops of trees and just a ton of more forage and uh, browse for the deer to, to live on as they uh, feed in their bedding. So I wanted to bring that to you guys just to give you an update on that. That was a huge project, the first one we started with, and it's definitely turned into a success. Uh, we've been staying out of it. I went in there just to get some of this footage and clean some, clean some lanes up. So everything looks really great, and uh, we're really excited to, you know, we really changed the, uh, the lay of the land with providing cover and food for hopefully at least one or two big mature bucks. So I uh, appreciate you guys tuning in. And if you get a chance, stick around because the next episode is going to be pretty cool too. Kyle and I get after it uh, because we don't have any rain. So we had to make our own rain. So you're not going to miss that next one. So thanks for joining and uh, we'll see you next time guys.